Hello and welcome to MacYourself.com's video tutorial on 1Password. 1Password is an automatic form filler and web-based password manager. In this video I will show you how the program can save you time and become more secure. The program is available for a free trial in which you can create 20 entries. Opening up 1Password for the first time prompts us with a wizard. For the first step we're going to hit continue. The second step, we're just going to uh, hit continue again. On the third step, it's going to ask us if it wants to install browser extensions. And we're going to check that off because that's one feature we do want to use. It'll make life a lot easier. And the last thing it's going to ask us is for a password. Now here is where 1Password really gets its name. This is the only password we're going to have to type in to do all of the uh, features of 1Password. Remember the master password you set because if you forget it there's no resetting it. With 1Password up and going we're going to create a new identity. Now these identities can be used to automatically fill forms on the internet. We create a new identity by hitting the identities plus button. From here it will show us a list of fields in which we can fill in. Now it's entirely up to you how many you want to fill in. For this example I'm just going to put my name and uh, email address but as you can see there are many fields name, birth date, company, department, job title, country, you know the standard stuff you're going to find on web forms out there. With a new identity set up in 1Password, we're going to use this by signing up for a new Gmail account. From the menu, choose the 1Password button, fill with identity, and choose the identity listed. It will now prompt us for our master password. Type that in. With the password typed in, it's now going to use that identity's pre-filled information and store it into this web form we're trying to sign up for. Now with this particular form, it does make some mistakes. Desired login, it puts in our email address we filled in. So we're going to have to retype that to uh, the correct information. Um, also down at the bottom, there's some more mistakes, um, which we'll have to refill in manually ourselves. If you look to our form, our password field is already filled in. One password has already randomly generated a strong password, and it's about to remember that in its database for us. After filling in the rest of the fields that 1Password doesn't have stored information, such as the capture code, um, once we hit the submit button to agree to the form, 1Password uh, is going to prompt us with a question, do you want to save this information? Saving it, we'll store it in the 1Password database. With the login information stored in 1Password, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to log back in. Open up Safari. Go to Gmail, hit the 1Password button, and hit Restore Form with the username. Type in your 1Password Master Password, and you're in. It automatically filled the form that we just set up with our password and username. With 1Password, you're able to create more than one identity, so we can have a separate identity for work, home, or school, or whatever. Um, just as easy as setting up our first identity. Um, 1Password also has a place for secure notes in here. We can type in a private message or anything we want. It'll be saved in 1Password. And the only way to get to it is by typing in our master password and unlocking the keychain. Now if we wanted to see what our password was for that Google one that 1Password already set up, we can go to View, Conceal, Password, and right there in the password field it shows us the secure password it created for us. 
So if we wanted to manually type this in on another computer or um, another nifty feature in uh, 1Password is the password creator. You can just generically make a password and it has uh, a lot of good options here. We can make it as long or as short as we want. Um, you can make it pronounceable, you can add digits, you can just put hyphens in it. It has all kinds of different uh, features. So you can make it as secure or as easy as you would like. So there you have it. This has been an overview of 1Password automatic form filler and uh, password management utility. I uh, hope you have enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Go Mac yourself.